A grenade found in a carry backyard, and right now crews for Fort Liberty just arrived to dispose of it. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. Hey everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. This is all happening at a home on King Forks Road in Cary. That's where we find our Haley Fixler. Haley, are you close enough to see anything, or are you far back from where, where it's all going on? You know what, we're actually across the street from the home, but we've just been told by Cary police that the Fort Liberty team has removed the grenade and they are taking it back with them to Fort Liberty. Now, what they're doing right now is they are doing a scan of the backyard just to make sure that everything is safe. This whole street right now is filled with first responders all prepared for anything. What appears to be an ammo box covered in dirt, partially hidden by ivy in this Cary backyard. Cary police say they got a call from the people in this home saying they were having yard work done when they found this grenade. We are still investigating the origin of that device. Uh, however, we believe the device to be the property of the previous owner, who from what we're being told was, a, was an old military veteran him, himself. He is now since deceased, so we are unable to speak with him. We, we do hear of it from time to time of old military veterans still having uh, ordinances and ammunition from their days in the service. Uh, and so it's not too uncommon, but it's not every day that we find an old military ordinance buried uh, in your backyard. Officers say the Raleigh bomb squad decided they wanted a Fort Liberty team to handle the grenade, but they don't believe there's any danger to the community, so none of these neighbors were evacuated. People who live nearby tell us they had no idea something like this was feet away from their homes. She had a bunch of uh, poison ivy and vines back there, so I tried to help her out and mow it. So I've been through there, and I definitely mowed over the spot. We had heard it from the neighbor themselves. The cops did come by and said, hey, here's what's going on, that we've got a uh, possible live grenade back there, and we're going to get some expert, uh, I guess, the military's going to come check it out. Again, the grenade has been removed right now. This team is just doing a scan of the backyard to make sure that they don't find anything else there. Now, Cary police say that any time you come across something suspicious, like a possible grenade, to give them a call and let them handle it. And, of course, we will be working to get you some more information. Live in Cary, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Glad it was removed safely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Haley, thanks.